Hey everyone, welcome back to the deer blind or the workshop or, or whatever purpose it's serving for the day. Uh, today it's my God Nugget studio, so I'm glad that you're here. Welcome back for what is part three of a three-part series on our memory verse for November, and that is this. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. That's Psalm 42.1. And we've been looking at the different reasons why a deer pants for water. And so let me just remind you, in case you weren't here for the parts one and two, uh, one reason a deer pants for water is simply because they get thirsty. And just like we get thirsty, so does a deer. And it's panting to get to that water to take a big drink. Another reason that a deer would pant for water would be in order to defend itself. You may remember me saying that deer don't fight very well. It's not like they have teeth and claws. The only thing they can do is they can use their hooves to, um, to bat at each other. I've seen deer do that. They'll lift up one foot and smack each other or they'll stand up on two legs and kind of fight like this, uh, or they can kick with their back legs, like a horse kicks or a cow kicks. They can, deer can kick backwards. Aside from that, they're not very good fighters. Uh, they don't have any real ability to, to defend themselves well. However, a deer might be running from a pack of wolves or a pack of coyotes or an African type of deer might be running from some kind of a cat. And if they can get into deep water, they can defend themselves a little bit better there. They might be able to rear up and hit down on the animal in front of them. That's been known to happen. Or they can just swim away. Deer are excellent swimmers. Did you know that, that deer were very good swimmers? They can swim easily across big lakes. They can swim out to islands and come back. It's really quite remarkable how well deer can swim. So that's a second reason why they might pant for water. A third reason that they might pant for water is they just want relief. And last week we talked about two kinds of relief that a deer might want. One is just from the heat. It's so hot and they, they want to hurry and get to the water so they can just get in it and cool off, just like you or I would do on a hot summer day. Another kind of relief that the deer would run to the water for is if they're being harassed by bugs. And uh, uh, you can understand that if you've got all kinds of biting flies all over your whole body, at least if you can get underwater and only your head sticking up so that you can breathe, at least there you can find some, some relief from all the bugs. Well, just for those same four reasons that a deer might pant for water, we also might pant for God. We just need to be quenched by the living water that will make us thirsty, uh, never make us thirsty again. Uh, we might pant for water <clears throat> because God is a place of refuge and our defender. We might pant for water or pant for God, I mean, um, for relief from just the heat <clears throat> and the stress of life. Excuse me, something's tickling my throat. Or we might want relief from all the hassles of life and we find comfort in being in God's presence. Well, today I have one more reason for sure why a deer will pant for water. And then I have a bonus reason why a deer might pant for water that I've been excited to tell you about. So number five, let me just say this. Number five is like another kind of relief, but this is a specific type of relief from pain. Wildlife biologists know, and so do a lot of hunters, that if a deer is in pain, they will run to water. Now you might say, why would they run to water? Well, if you're injured or wounded or you've been scratched in a fight or something like that and you're a deer and you are you have a burning pain, if you get in the water, that can help to soothe your pain. It's not medicine. Uh, it's not like a hospital, but it's the best thing that deer have to give them a little bit of relief from injury. Well, that's a similar reason why we might pant for God. We have been injured. We want relief. 
And it makes me think about Psalm 147, verse 3, that says that God binds up the brokenhearted and he heals their wounds. And so we long for God. We pant after God because we know that he can give us the relief we need from our injuries. Well, those are all five of the reasons why a deer might pant for water. And I hope that you enjoyed this series. And I hope that you also will long for God in the same way that a deer pants for water. Now, the bonus reason. I have told this story to many lifelong hunters, some of them old men who've been hunting for 50, 60, or 70 years, and they didn't believe me at first, but now there's all kinds of evidence out there. I first learned it when I was a young man in my teens, and it was told to me by a friend of mine who actually witnessed it with his eyes. Are you ready for this? A deer will sometimes go to water in order to go fishing. I know, that sounds weird, doesn't it? But deer like fish. And a deer will go to a stream where there are lots of minnows swimming around or where there are small fish. Or if there's a, a, a dead fish that's kind of floating upside down or washed onto the shore, or maybe it's an injured fish that's just kind of flopping sideways, deer eat fish. And I know that most people think that they don't, that they only eat plants, but that's not true. Deer have been known many, many times to also be meat eaters in a small amount. If you don't believe me, you just ask a grown-up to go on the internet with you and look up deer eating fish. You can find videos of that, and it's not hard at all. So, does a deer pant for streams of water because it's hungry for fish? I don't know. Maybe they just wander in. I don't know if they pant for it. But it's a great reason to think, and it's a funny reason to think about a deer wanting to get to the lake or wanting to get to the stream so that he can go fishing. Well, it has been fun doing this series with you. I hope you have a great week. I'm praying for you, and God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye.